How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, a lot of people are asking me how am I going to charge this battery uh, while I'm out camping. I don't know if I didn't, I failed to mention or people just haven't been watching the videos, but the um, ACDC uh, inverter I put in there is a charger. So when this camper is plugged in, it is actually charging the batteries. Um, that's the whole reason I put the AC-DC adapter or uh, uh, converter in there. So it would charge the batteries when it's plugged in. Uh, so it will charge the batteries, but when I'm off grid and I don't have a way to plug it in, I had went and got some, these are called Renogy. Uh, I think it's called Renogy, don't hold me to it, uh, solar panel. Uh, this is a... Um, 100 watt uh, solar panel. This is 100 watts of solar panel. And everything should be here that I need to actually mount this. Well, maybe not all the mounts, but everything I need for at least to charge my battery. I'm hoping. Now, eventually down the road, I will be taking the 12 volt battery out and putting two um, golf cart 6 volt batteries on the camper down the road. Uh, maybe not this summer. I don't know. Maybe this summer. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'll probably, I will be putting two 6 volt batteries and hooking them together on the front of the camper. So this is my next project. I'm going to start working on the uh, solar panel, getting it mounted up on the roof and figuring out how I'm going to get the wires into the camper without drilling. I'm trying not to drill as many holes as I can. It's getting harder and harder not to. So, uh, but we will have to drill some holes to mount this on and get the wires inside the camper. So uh, this is the next project. Okay, this is the solar panel. I think I measured it at almost 48 inches in the camper 48 inches. So uh, I don't know how it's going to work. We haven't set it up there yet. This is what it came with. These are the two wires from my solar panel that will go back into the uh, charge controller. And these are the two wires that will go to my battery. So it will charge my battery. This is the charge controller that I've gotten. Okay, it came with it. I, I it wanted that one there. And then these are some of the brackets that it gave me. They gave me to go with this thing and some of the bolts. Plus we got our owner's manual and a couple other papers there and warranty paper. Now I picked up some good, uh, pretty, I thought was pretty strong uh, angle uh, aluminum. And then I got some boxes of screws. These are all stainless steel. And some little bolts and nuts. Everything's stainless steel. So my first project is going to be, like I said, just getting it mounted on. And then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get the wires down through the uh, roof bottom or wherever we're going to put them. Okay, this is a look at it up on top of the camper. I think it's going to turn out pretty good here. And I'm just going to use the same brackets. I was going to make brackets. But I think these brackets are going to be just fine. They look good and heavy. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it won't come off in the wind and all that. But, uh, you know, that's a chance we're going to take. They put them on top of RVs. I can't see why I can't put it on top of this thing. So we're going to use the original brackets. Right now, I'm working on um, some PCV pipe. Uh, I got some half inch pipe. I'm going to put a half inch pipe down this corner. And a half inch over there on that corner there's two wires and I thought if I put them both in the same they would both fit in a three-quarter inch pipe but I think it would look awkward so I'm gonna put one down each side and run one wire down each side of the camper so both of them look the same now here is the uh, pipe that I'm gonna use this is just a white PCV pipe uh, hot and cold and as you can see, I drilled some holes in this. And that's where I'm going to screw them to the camper, through these little holes here. Uh, I'll screw it right into the camper. I got I only put two. Two on the bottom. Or, yeah, one on top and one on the bottom. I think it's going to do okay. These things are lighter as a feather. So, we're going to go ahead. This up here, this is only four inches from here to here. And that will allow it to go right up underneath the solar pa uh, panel. And the bottoms is four inches too, and that will allow it go right up underneath the camper, and then I'll run my wire from underneath here. I haven't glued none of these together yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get them painted. Because 
that elbow, I got to get them wires through that elbow and it's going to be a tough one. I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll take our time and we'll find out. I got this one painted up and all the holes drilled in it where I'm going to put my two screws to hold the pipe on the camper. And all I'm doing, as you can see right there, they're just sticking out a little bit. And then I'm going to go back here and mark these and I'm going to screw them to the camper. And then I'll run my wire through the pipe. It'd just be better, I think, than having all the wire. I'd rather have two screws in there than have big black wires hanging over my camper. Now, I do know they make a thing to put on the top of the camper that you can run the wires through the inside of the camper. But I don't want them inside just as bad as I don't want them outside. So, I don't, there's no inside walls on the camper. Like the runaway camper doesn't have a couple layers of wall. You can't run these wires. They're going to be exposed inside the camper. So, we're going to run them underneath the camper and up into the camper. Okay, as you can see right here, I put silicone on that screw. That's 100% silicone. I'm going to screw that screw into that hole over there. I went ahead and pre-drilled two holes where these are going to go. And then we're going to take them back apart once we get them screwed in here. This will allow this thing to go right in, hold it back to the camper. This will hold it back against the camper without having the screw go all the way through. Now this tube is on, but as you can see, we didn't glue none of this because we have to put our wires in there yet. Uh, if we glue it without putting our wires in there, I don't think our wire will make that 90 degree uh, angle on that. So we left them unglued. We're going to glue them once we get them uh, the wires in there. So we'll go ahead and do the other side exactly the same way. Get it screwed on. Okay, you can almost see just about how this is going to look. It's basically, should be the way it's going to look on the camper. And what I've done here is I've just went around and marked all my holes on all the uh, brackets. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the panel back off, pre-drill all my holes, and then I'm going to set it back up there, and I'm only going to put screws, a couple screws in the top. And I'm just going to leave them loose so I can lift this up and down a little bit to be able to get my wires in there and get them through these pipes. So the real challenge is going to be getting them through these pipes. What I've done here is I just put two screws in the top and I left them loose. And they're going to, they're going to keep it, the panel from sliding around. I put a little chunk of wood right here to hold it up. Because I still have to pull these top pieces off and get the wire run through them and plug them in up here. So. I want to leave it set like this, that way we can go ahead and get our wires all ran. Now I'm going to run the negative terminal down the right side. And why? I have no clue. I'm just going to run it down the, uh, if I'm standing on the back, it'll be the right side. So, passenger side will be negative, and then your driver's side would be positive. Because I really can't, I mean, I'm going to mark the wire too. But each one of these are marked up in here, but it's not marked on that, on this piece over here, I don't think. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, run a negative, positive, and see if I can get them down through these pipes. I think it's going to be tough, but if I have to, I'll put a little dish liquid on them uh, so they'll slide a little better in the tubes. Okay, I finally got the wires running the pipes. I got them coming out down there on both sides. Uh, so, there's all you're going to see on the camper. 
you can see the solar panel up there and from the back you really can't tell the two black wires are going down the sides uh, now let's say water gets in there we got water this is open up there open there open down there where the other screw is and it's open on the bottom so any water that gets in the back of this will run right out the bottom uh, we're not too much worried about the water so let it run it'll go right through the tube and out the bottom so all I gotta do now is go ahead and get all my screws in there and I'm gonna use 100% silicon on each screw and the holes that I drilled was much smaller than the screw that I'm sticking in it's not a lot but it's enough to get catch the threads and we'll put silicon on the threads as we're putting them in we're ready to mount our little this is going to be our little charging station right here we're going to mount it right below this one here and then we'll bring the wires right up through the floor right here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the hole first because I'm not sure I need to know exactly how much wire I got uh, the one that I put on the negative one I put on this side was much shorter because I had to go across the camper so we're going to see, we're hoping to mount it up as close as we can, as tight uh, to this, the bottom of this charger, as close as we can. So we're going to go ahead and work on drilling the hole out on the floor. Okay, we got the battery all hooked up. It says for me to hook the battery up first before I hook the panels up. So we got the battery hooked up, and we got all the inside wired up, the hole drilled. There's where the wires come up through the floor. Now I'll put some silicone, that clear silicone, on that hole on the bottom and the top. And you can see our charge controller is on. Now we don't have any light hitting it, so it's not really charging right now. But it does have a full battery. And I have that hooked up to it too. So both of them are hooked up the same. Well, for all you guys wondering how it's going to charge the battery while I'm off grid, this is how I'm going to charge it. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, solar install on the runaway camper. Uh, we got it all finished up. There's not too many more things to do. I have a couple little things to do. I'll get them on video for you, and then it's going to be time to go camping. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.